Hello, this video is going to be a little more serious. It's about how to handle the fear of failure. Um, for those of you who don't know me, um, I run four KFC restaurants in Switzerland. I'm a volunteer and paramedic and volunteer and fireman. And um, when you realize in your life um, that you come in a new situation where you learn something new, and you start to feel the tension in your chest, the anxiety rising, and you're afraid that you're not be able to go perform well enough in whatever your new task and new um, things you have to do are, then uh, be sure that's normal. And I have a take on it where that's coming from. The older we are getting, the more experienced we are in a lot of fields in our life, may it be work, may it be hobbies. And when we start to learn something new, a new sport, a new hobby, a new job, we tend to forget, or let's say we already forgotten, the struggles back in the days 20 years ago when we had to learn our existing hobbies and work positions. And now, since we are used to have a certain level of training and expertise, the new thing is intimidating. For some people it's even frightening. And we're sure about two things here. Number one, fear is not real. I mean, the feeling is real, but there's no real reason to be afraid. Especially when we talk about normal things. There's no base jumping, no uh, whatever, skydiving, wingsuit flying, whatever. We talk about normal stuff, going to a gym. That seems to be frightening for a lot of people if they have to enter a new gym. Having a new hobby, having a new job, having a new volunteering position, whatever it's going to be. And in all those cases, this fear is, from my perspective, the, um, the unknown, the we don't know how to react. And there's not so much we can do about it. Yes, we can prepare theoretically, but if it's something physical we have to do, um, it's difficult to, to walk through in your mind and get the right conclusions. So the way on the other side, which I think is the more beneficial, is to step away from those thoughts, step away from the fear in terms of asking yourself just shortly what am I afraid of if you have someone to talk about it even better because sometimes an external person will point out where your thoughts are running a little in circles but what I do in those cases when I do something new I embrace it I talk open about it and this is the most important step out of my experience to say and talk about when you're not feeling well with a new situation, when you are probably afraid. And I give you an example. When I was um, on a ladder and 12 meters of height, I was not sure on how to de descend on that ladder. What is the best way? And I wanted to do it right. So I asked for an advice and uh, the person in charge for training was asking me if I'm afraid to go down because he would have waved me and it would be fine. But have I been anxious of going down? Yes. Fourth floor is, is a lot. If you make a mistake there and you fall down, you're gonna have issues <laughs> at least. Well, on the other hand, I just wanted to know the best way. 
and he showed me the best way which was close to what I was thinking so I had a positive feeling out of this I was like yeah your 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 knowledge and your assumptions were right and then this topic is the checkbox is ticked you have it done you have it done for the future but if you try to sneak away from those new things it's gonna be just become worse so I can only encourage you to whenever you feel like something is stretching or being out of the, your comfort zone and I said it yesterday in a zoom call this is when the magic happens so have a quick thought about it what is happening within you speak open about it to other people and if they don't understand if they don't help you and my, as hard as my sound you're probably in the wrong game the wrong company the wrong membership whatever you call it because people should be there to to lift you up the same as my my the person in charge did the same to me for me let's put it those words in my train and this is the way what we do in our restaurants people make mistakes or they are afraid to make mistakes we lift them up and uh, this is something which um, I have to um, had to embrace also when I started YouTube and if you look at my old videos which uh, as Ali Abdallah always said sounds like British Airways hello my name is Oliver this is flight 9574 we like to welcome you on the fl I mean that's not me this is a lot closer to me what I'm doing here right now and in the videos on the last days to make it simple it's okay to have anxious anxiety it's okay to feel not sure or not safe in terms of like not certain if something is new is happening but speak open about it accept it that it's there and don't try to suppress it uh, uh, the, out of my experience that doesn't work but if you give it a little space the pressure is not you you don't feel the pressure that much as if you try to contain it I hope that helps you whether it's a new job a new endeavor a new hobby your YouTube channel a blog post whatever you're gonna do and um, if you enjoyed this one leave a like if you want to hear more of this subscribe to the channel and have a great day